So it took them about 24 hours at least to name the culprit in the Toronto shooting. Again, two girls killed aged 10 and 18, 14 others injured during this attack on a on a restaurant area in the, uh, the Greek Christian Orthodox area of Toronto, known as Greek Town, on Sunday night. After an almost 24-hour delay in releasing his name, as soon as Hussein, his name is Faisal Hussein, was publicly identified, his family, and lawyers noted this, his family released a, a statement that sounded like it had been written by a lawyer, okay? This was not coming directly from the family. This is what they'd been told to put out, immediately claiming that he had mental issues, that he had depression, and that was the only motivation behind his rampage. Absolute unbridled BS. Of course, the left comes out after every mass shooting, whether it be in Canada or the US. If it's a white guy, they immediately come out and say, how dare you not categorize this as terrorism? On the Alex Jones Show, before we go back to the news, I want to tell you about some of the specials at InfoWarsStore.com. Because again, the point I make over and over again, despite all this censorship, despite all this algorithm manipulation, despite all this shadow banning, they can't get to us with the boycotts. Just this morning, a George Soros front group opened up a new boycott campaign against Nigel Farage, trying to get him kicked off LBC, his main gig on what is mainstream radio here in the UK. No particular reason for it. Oh, he's a right-wing bigot. Meanwhile, the guy pushing this, Owen Jones, literally three days ago on his own network, gave a platform to ad an admitted communist. He's saying that Nigel Farage is an extremist for talking about the issues he talks about. Nothing whatsoever he said is extremist. In fact, he's known as being quite mild on some issues. He gets criticized for that. Meanwhile, the guy behind this boycott campaign, Owen Jones, literally gives a platform to an admitted communist, somebody who advocates a system that killed at least 90 million people, if not more. So who's the extreme? Who's given the extremist the platform? We're going to jump to Alex Jones, who wants to chime in with a comment here. Alex. Yes, Paul, I'm just driving down the road here. Long, take long. Uh, you were just making such a great point about all the censorship uh, and the things they're doing. <laughs> A congressional hearings that he cleared for Congressman Goodlight last week. And and they had year to go, yes, Alex Jones had his channel taken down for saying no one died at Parkland. Well, they said that, but our site was put back up. That was a lie. You know, we just said it. It's protected speech. We didn't. And then Gates literally did over 100 interviews on purpose. Uh, he didn't just get quoted saying that I said no one died. Even after it was admitted that I didn't say that. So it's just funny that he's being shadow banned now uh, after he groveled to the system. And that's the point is now congressional candidates, Trump, every Republican, every nationalist is now being censored. Just like four months ago, News Corp said, you know, the new head of uh, News Corp, uh, Disney bought it, said, we are going to ban WikiLeaks and Alex Jones. Once that precedent set, we're going to be a liberal, conservative, everybody, and we're going to make all this big profit off. And you've got a dealer, you know, the head of Newsweek, so we're going to have a pay internet now. This is their sick takeover happening right now. Back to you, Paul Watson. That's exactly right, Alex. And another facet of this censorship issue is Patreon. Patreon have banned the accounts of numerous people on the right, conservatives, libertarians, whoever stopped their fundraising source at the source. Absolutely incredible du double standard, given that Patreon, and this is in a new Breitbart article by Alan Bakari, which is um, Stripe, PayPal, Patreon, the right is being banned from online fundraising. Meanwhile, Patreon literally allows fundraising for Antifa groups, notably called terrorist groups, designated terrorist groups by the Department of Homeland Security, by the FBI, They've literally put out FBI field reports of them stashing explosives on university campuses. There was a, an admitted uh, acid attack tr targeting Trump supporters during the presidential inauguration by an Antifa member. These people are allowed on Patreon. They're allowed to raise money for their admitted extremism. Meanwhile, 
anyone on the right is being banned by Patreon. And this is why people need to support us by getting the products at InfoWarsStore.com because we're not subject to those kind of boycott campaigns. We're funded only by you. This is how we've been able to survive for this long and to thrive in the face of all this uh, un underhanded, dirty tricks and the rest of it. So we got numerous specials at InfoWarsStore.com right now, including Super Silver Wound Dressing Gel. This addresses burns, scrapes, cuts, and wounds, which are a natural part of life. And again, I, I was talking about this last week. I wore some new shoes, which are about a size too small, totally scraped the skin off the back of my foot. This would have been, this would have come in handy for me. It is the Super Silver Wound Dressing Gel from InfoWars Life. You can reduce the threat of infection and irritation with a portable, affordable, and easy to use solution. It's based on the powerful Silver Soul technology that revolutionized the colloidal nano silver market. It is Super Silver Wound Dressing Gel. It is available right now at InfoWarsStore.com, where we also have Super Silver Wound Gel Bullet Points which again is an advanced patented technology that has forever changed the colloidal nano silver market. You can get that right now at InfoWarsStore.com. Essentially, it's armor for your wounds. It's a protective barrier that guards the wounds and helps keep them from getting infected. Again, you're going to need to buy this stuff anyway. Who doesn't use this stuff anyway? So why not buy it from us and support us? Because again, we're not subject to all these boycott campaigns. We're not subject to the mass organized outrage mobs that have taken down numerous other conservative outlets and commentators. We also have Defeat the Democrat Censorship Sale still ongoing with free shipping. That's up to 67% off store-wide right now at InfoWarsStore.com. Things like Alpha Power, 50% off, Vitamin Mineral Fusion, 50% off, and BioTrue Selenium, 50% off are right now at InfoWarsStore.com. Free shipping on absolutely everything on that special Please support us today. We are able to thrive, we're able to prosper, but only to a certain extent. We need your support more than ever. They're coming for us more than ever. You've seen the intensification of the attacks against us. So please get the products at InfoWarsStore.com. Now we've got about three minutes left in this segment, so I want to get into what happened in Toronto quickly. So it took them about 24 hours at least to name the culprit in the Toronto shooting. Again, two girls killed aged 10 and 18, 14 others injured during this attack on a on a restaurant area in the, uh, the Greek Christian Orthodox area of Toronto, known as Greek Town, on Sunday night. After an almost 24-hour delay in releasing his name, as soon as Hussein, his name is Faisal Hussein, was publicly identified, his family and lawyers noted this. His family released a, a statement that sounded like it had been written by a lawyer. Okay, This was not coming directly from the family. This is what they'd been told to put out, immediately claiming that he had mental issues, that he had depression, and that was the only motivation behind his rampage. Absolute unbridled BS. Of course, the left comes out after every mass shooting, whether it be in Canada or the US. If it's a white guy, they immediately come out and say, how dare you not categorize this as terrorism? Even though, if it, if it becomes obvious very quickly, it has no connection to political motivations whatsoever, okay? To be a terrorist attack, it has to be either religiously or politically motivated. We're not saying that the victims didn't suffer terror from what happened. We're saying it wasn't a terrorist attack in the terms of the very definition of terrorism, okay? This one looks like it was. The Toronto Sun's Joe Warmington has spoken to his law enforcement sources, and he said they're still looking at a potential jihadi-inspired mission. Files being reviewed by police include concern Hussein expressed support for a website that was seen as pro-ISIS, a police source told Warmington. Intelligence officials are also looking at residences Hussein had in Afghanistan and Pakistan, as well as, as, well as other online activities that suggest he may have been radicalized. So again, they came out. In fact, you had journalists, you had Canadian journalists come out and express absolute horror at the fact that this wasn't a white guy because it meant they couldn't immediately run with this narrative. They were more angry over Fox News suggesting that this may have been a terrorist attack than they were the terrorist attack itself. So again, despite the fact that law enforcement say this guy was pro-ISIS, he visited jihadist websites, he had houses in Afghanistan and Pakistan, that this obviously looks like an Islamic terror-motivated attack, 
Despite all that, the media has largely buried it. They ran with this PR statement written by a lawyer for the family that said it was just mental illness. And now they're hoping that everybody's going to move on. Well, we're not going to move on. We're going to continue to look at this and try and get to the bottom of it and stop them from covering up what looks like an Islamic terror attack in Toronto. We'll be back on the Alex Jones Show Live, Infowars.com. Don't go away. As the years go by, it gets harder and harder to keep up with your body's nutritional needs. With changes in diet, unnatural ingredients, and stress, you may not be able to get all the necessary nutrients, amino acids, vitamins, and minerals needed daily. That's why InfoWars Life created the powerful Vitamin Mineral Fusion Formula, the new platinum standard of advanced multivitamin formulation. Vitamin Mineral Fusion uses a unique delivery system to maximize the effects and give your body the tools it needs to support your body. Using a proprietary process, we've managed to make this powerhouse formula into a delicious, concentrated drink mix that's loaded with high-quality ingredients. Perfect for a hot summer day or relaxing at home, Vitamin Mineral Fusion is loaded with 34 different essential vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and more. Start supporting your body's needs in a great-tasting, natural and affordable drink mix with Vitamin Mineral Fusion today. Available at InfoWarsStore.com.